Well, good Tuesday to you folks. How are you doing on this fine day? Or, as I know, many of you listening on the other side of this piece of rock. So, may I say good evening to you. Cheers. And hope the day was a good one for you. Little change up. A lot of the topics lately have been here a little uh, heavy. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Hey, getting some great emails from all of you and so much appreciative. You know, I will tell you this. I have by far some of the deepest thinkers, I think, that walk this planet. And such an honor and a privilege to have you uh, part of the journey and definitely getting an idea to get to know you and your thoughts. So, Thought I'd just kind of give you a little surprise here. These are pictures I've taken in the last four days here in Colorado, both morning and sunset. Uh, these are ventricular lens clouds um, <laughs> where you get the flying saucers from. So I hope you enjoy this. I'll just go through these. They're kind of self-explanatory. Now, you're going to see in this set, this happened last Thursday. Strangest thing. Um, this cloud shelf deck, as you can see, um, this, by the way, is heading towards the Rocky Mountains. And we had, for about five minutes, is all it lasted the most bizarre light. Uh, here you can see a man walking his dog. This is a green belt back here. Even the animals were, I don't know, you could almost say somewhat, uh, oh, I guess, moved by it. I think this will give us a better picture. And you can see it just cast this most unusual uh, color. Now to the east, this is actually looking to the east, slightly northeast, the sky, the clouds, and it's just my interpretation, but I swear it looked like um, strings of plasma. Now obviously, you know, you could say, well, the sun was just hitting the cloud in that particular area. Well, it's true. But you can see it was just spectacular. Really enjoyed it. There's another one that really caught that light. Very strange, strange light. And I got to tell you, it's amazing how light affects our bodies and our minds and our emotions. This light here, I, uh, I don't know. It almost made me feel giddy. How about that? So, yeah. Um, let me get out of here. Now, I used to do, I still do, I just don't do it as much, but I'm still an avid um, sky watcher. Love taking pictures. Have hmm, over almost two terabytes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, after you do something for a while and you begin to look up, you, you begin to, you can see things, you can see phenomenon that you may have seen before. So two years ago, um, it seemed like here in Colorado, we went through a period where we had these brilliant uh, neon colored clouds. And last year, I can't recall seeing one event. Well, it's returned. And let's take a look here. I hope you enjoy these. Now, one of the interesting phenomenon that I have, and I have, like I said, thousands of these, is that this phenomenon happens when we get these, oh, thinly laced clouds. And 
what's really interesting about this is the amount of different clouds and how the light is either reflecting, refracting, or contracting. Who knows, <laughs> right? Okay. And we got the old uh, chemtrail coming in. But again, notice how the clouds are more like an artist. Um, who was the guy on PBS? Bob, what was Bob's name? Y'all, some of y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, that it's like taking a fan brush and just wisping it across the sky. Whereas up here, you're taking more of a stencil. So let's just continue and I'll go through these pretty quick, but you're going to see the most brilliant turquoise, magentas, um, yellows, the greens, the, um, the, 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 the purples. And I'll just let it play out for you. Look at that, folks. And this is, you could see this with the naked eye. There's our chemtrail going across. See what I mean on the clouds? And there's the chemtrail. What I found odd, and I'll just make a comment on this, that the chemtrail, now, if this was condensation, then it would be just like the clouds, right? It'd have water moisture to it. Well, guess what? It doesn't. Can you believe it? It doesn't. So what do we have going on here? So again, check this out. The yellows and the reds, um, and then you start getting into those deep purples. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> How does that sound, huh? Uh, I figured some of you will enjoy that. Absolutely. Look at that. I told you the turquoise and the greens. Brilliant, just brilliant colors. And you can see how they were are chemtrailing. And this lasted about, I don't know, 45 minutes. It was just, look at that. I mean, I don't know if you could paint that. And look at the de definition of the clouds, how the clouds in the styrations that they have right here. And you can see as though that there is a giant prism in here separating the light, but we know that prisms only separate the light in one direction. Here it's going in two. I don't understand quite the physics of how the light is not only bending, but refracting within and splitting. See what I mean? Right through here, then you have it through here, and then you have it back here, and then up here. Now, Obviously, there's something in the atmosphere that was just right. However, you know, when you start seeing things happening more than once, look at that. <clears throat> just brilliant. 
So I zoomed in on this and you can see it does not lose its view, the crispness. You could really zoom in and see how the clouds were different colors. <coughs> Just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. See what I mean by the violets, the greens? And look at the definition of the clouds. There's no diffusion. The camera is doing exactly what it was designed to do. Is that just beautiful? I mean, wow. As a child, I don't remember growing up and ever seeing clouds like this, colors like this. Assure you, if I had, I mean, every kid would have been coloring it. We didn't have this. This is new. By that, I mean, this is a recent phenomenon. Now, people say, well, these are nanosentin clouds. No, they're not. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this. Um, I did, and a uh, little break from the normal stuff. All right, be kind to one another. We'll talk soon.